Hi hey everybody. everybody! Welcome to another episode of What's Up Watchtower. <laughs> so, Mike, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Had a good day. It's nice outside. And, uh, you know, everything's great. How are you? I'm good. But how are you? Really, how are you? Everything is pretty good. You know, busy with work, but all right. You know, good. Really? Really? How how are you? Um. Good. <laughs> There's a method to our madness. This is actually a reenactment of something that happened to me in the not too distant past. Well, why don't we hear it? Let's go. <laughs> so we we made an observation that um, as we have run into witnesses through the years, and we're not disfellowshipped, so they still will talk with us, that they get a very particular look on their face and they're not quite sure what to say to us. And uh, it, I was... It always brings forth one singular question. How are you? How are you? You couldn't possibly be okay. We know you say you're okay, but how are you really? <laughs> really? How are you? Yeah, how are you? Mm. So yeah, I was um, I was at when I had a gym membership. I was at the gym and I took this Zumba class. wasn't wearing my glasses, so I can't really see faces. <laughs> and I didn't see that there was three witnesses that I had used to uh, be in the same congregation with um, that were there, and they kind of I don't know they <laughs> surrounded you <laughs> surrounded me after the class and kept asking, "How how are you?" And I was just like, I'm fine, how are you doing? Oh, I, I'm okay, but really, Robin, how are you? And this went on, it got so uncomfortable. And I did notice the face on one of the, the sisters, that, you know, a very sweet sister, and she was kind of like, okay, you know, like this is going too far, enough you know? Already. <laughs> enough really? already. And the boy, I just couldn't get out of there fast enough out of that. How many times do you think she asked you in that few minute interval? Uh, probably about five times. Yeah, about five times. Amazing. And I had a similar experience. Only about six weeks ago, I ran into a, uh, a woman that we know real well, a sister who's married to an elder, who's, they're really sweet, really nice people, really like them a lot. Um, but yeah, she kept asking me how I was. And at first <laughs> she was standing behind me in line for a while and didn't say a word. And so I turned around and recognized her and said hi. And it led to the most uncomfortable exchange <laughs> of pleasantries you've ever seen. So it's just really funny. The how are you was asked me three times probably. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we really don't know how to respond, but after you respond once, I don't really know where else there is to go. Yeah, I, I, I don't either. So this is just an observation that we have made. Wondered if other people have had this kind I mean, of same experience. Other people have to run into witnesses that they, or former, uh, you know, people they used to go to the congregation with or whatever. Man, this is, is this just us? Are people just, do we look like we need, are we in trouble? Do we need to know everybody asking how we are? I don't know, it's just bizarre. Yeah, you know, and the other thing that happened to me that just reminded me of, um, I used to work in retail at a department store and a sister who I'd grown up with and her congregation, her kids were just a little bit younger than me. And she came in and we were talking and I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get the dreaded, what hall are you in question. Oh, <laughs> this is a great story. Yeah, and um, so here it came. So what, what hall are you going to? And I said, I, I'm not, I, I don't go to a hall mm -hmm. anymore. And the look on her face, like, what, what happened? I said, well, nothing happened. I just, you know, decided to make some changes and, you know, you don't want to get, and plus I was at work. I didn't want to talk about this at work. And so she was like, well, you know, then she asked if my family were still, you know, going to the meetings. I said, yeah, of course, you know, they're all, yeah. And um, then she was like, well, she goes, you know, I really want to study the Bible with you. <laughs> and she said, would, would you have a Bible study? Would you let me study with you? Uh, and I was like, I don't need to study. I, 
I know the Bible. I've studied it my whole life, and I know what it says. And, and I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. And I was like, no, I, I, I don't want to study with you. I said, I don't need to study with you. That's what I said. I don't need to study with you. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, an interesting situation when you run into witnesses. Yeah, but we really want to hear your comments on this. Yeah. Definitely leave a comment below because this is great. I mean, I'm sure people have had similar experiences. Mm -hmm. We want to hear it. Yeah, so that's it for now. Just wanted to make this short video. Hope so. everybody's having a good weekend. Yeah, have a good one. Bye.